Taurus, hi, and welcome back to Athena One Muse. Okay, so it is now Thanksgiving for most of us. Hopefully for all of us, right? It's every day that we give thanks. Anyway, I want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. And I um, was channeling uh, and got Robert Frost. And so the message for the month, for everyone, is this. Love is an irresistible desire to be irresistibly desired. So for this blessed month, as every day is, every day is a blessing, we count our blessings, hopefully, hopefully we all count our blessings every day. Um, but with regard to what our message is from Robert Frost, I do have a question for all of you. Ask yourselves, are you giving the love that you want to receive? Are you giving the love that you want to receive? Are you the love that you want to receive? So, for Taurus, for all of you, something in November, or could be October, because I'm taping this in October, your word is enabling. So something in your world, Taurus, has enabled you to accept something, enabling yourself now to free yourself. You've enabled yourself freedom from perhaps something that was you were bound by, and now you're enabling yourself to move forward. So your word from spirit is enabling. So as the cards unfold, we'll see what that enabling means. But the actual blessings for this month is the love that is an irresistible desire to be irresistibly de desired. Which, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pick three cards for each from each deck, okay? This is the John Holland Psychic Oracle deck, okay? And I will pick three cards that will tell the story of what you've had to endure, enabling yourself to move into a direction that, you know, clearly you desire, right? Okay, and then I'm going to use these cards, which are the Ascended Masters, who I absolutely love. Okay, three cards for Taurus. For the blessings that we get from the universe, right? Beautiful blessings from the universe. And of course, I'm using the Romance Angel cards too. All these cards will, the, this whole um, three rows will actually build our story of the desire of the love that we, that we, um, that we want, right? And that we have and that we need wanting more than needing of course okay so as i mentioned you have somehow i'm going to get to the romance cards in a in a bit but let me just start with these okay because this tells the story so so beautifully you have moved on you have you're at a point Taurus that you have moved on and accepted, enabling yourself to free yourself 
from a place of peace. Okay? So whatever situations that are occurring now, because I'm, I'm actually taping in October. So you may still be undergoing this type of situation, but the love that you desire had to come from a place of peace. And that enabled you to move on. So peace within your heart, knowing that moving on was the best thing to do, is what you have created for yourself, okay? In the month of October. And this brings a beautiful growth of material harvest. This could be your work. You finally found peace with, within yourself to either maybe get a new job, moving on from one job and doing another, um, enabling yourself to leave a job, right, and get another job. Um, the love, the passion that you have for something that you do in your life is so important. It's, it, it becomes a detriment if you don't do what you love, um, if you don't do what you desire in that love whatever that love is, be it work or a person that you aspire to become and or to be with. So in order to find the, that love and giving gratitude for it, you found the peace within your heart and it has now manifested into growing and moving in the right direction. Okay, it's giving you more, which if, if it hasn't, it will give you more of a material harvest. This is Mother Nature saying that whatever seeds that you've planted will now have the ability to grow through the offering of peace that you have. And it, this could be with yourself, okay? This could be with yourself or it could be uh, um, external to you. For sure. But because you allowed this to give you peace, whatever that situation is, be it a job, be it a relationship, be it within yourself, the love, you now have a peace of, of mind. You now have um, peace within your heart. And when you dig into a love that has peace in your heart, that's where the ability for growth happens, right? And then love grows, it expands, and that's what's happening. And of course, with this being perhaps a work-related situation, whatever work situation has take, you know, has you working so hard, you finally gave yourself a rest and are receiving the fruits of your labor, which is also true. Okay, so then we have, you've, you've found the peace within, right, and trusted in the universe to give you this harmony. Now, the card is obviously a couple, um, so this could be harmony within a relationship. It does not have to be, you know, it could be whatever harmony in whatever relationship. It could be a relationship with someone at work that now you trust that person now and everything has turned out perfectly and you're reaping the rewards. You have now moved on from something. It could be as easy as just, you know, settling up a, uh, you know, a fight at work. And finding peace in that and moving on. Being able to say, okay, got it. And now finding harmony and trusting that person again. It could be also in a relationship. Okay? Now reaping the rewards of finding peace within your heart, within yourselves. Both parties. Harmony is based upon... Harmony cannot be a solo. It can't be one vibration. It comes from two vibrations at least. So the harmony, the mu music, musical harmony happens, right? A symphony happens when different musical pieces uh, uh, 
musical instruments, I'm sorry, right? They make music, right? They harmonize together. So that's what's happened. It's very beautiful, Taurus. And so you have finally moved on being at peace with yourself in whatever nature, whatever we're talking about, via work, yourself. Maybe you have found peace within yourself for, for something in the past that you didn't feel good about or are still undergoing. It could be that. But whatever that that is, we're still talking about trusting in the universe and finding peace within yourself, whichever way it goes. Okay, now, as far as that love is concerned that Robert Frost so, so um, humbly gave us, the irresistible love is right here. But only can it be irresistible when we express that to someone someone in our lives, right? The harmony card. Look at, they're looking at, sorry about the glare. They're looking at each other very beautifully. They're in harmony with one another. Clearly they are, okay? So here we have, there's definite chemistry going on in a relationship. This could be a relationship from childhood because we have children and also it could be a relationship that involves children and now those things that potentially needed to be the kids weren't approving the kids didn't like what was going on now peace has been settled within a family unity and now everything's in harmony because there was a level of trust so now or it could be so many so many things um, and also, when I give out different different scenarios, uh, one or two scenario could be entwined with the other, okay? Just go with whatever feels right in your heart for yourself and your situation. Um, it also could mean that because we have this material harvest right here and we have children here, I'm thinking that someone could be feasibly pregnant um, there, there's definitely chemistry going on that could harvest into children. So someone could not only be pregnant, but also, uh, Tor Taurus, uh, there could be also twins going on here, clearly. So, um, that's really cool. Okay, so the expression of love that you desire here is going back to this beautiful gratitude that is bringing us back to Thanksgiving and the time of gratitude that we have. Being grateful for, this This also looks to me like a very, um, a very peaceful union with family um, around the holiday season, right? A harvest, the harvest time of family and friends coming together and being at peace and no more fighting. I see the harmony in everything here. Now, the readings, which have been going so amazing, I have to tell you, also not only am I reading them horizontally, but when I read them vertically or diagonally, all these readings are coming together so nicely. So let's just do the same here. We've moved on. We took a little retreat to find peace within our hearts. When we retreat into nature, we find healing. So we've moved on. And of course, this card, moving on, has, has also, if you can see it here, these are remnants of leaves, okay? This is the perfect example of the fall, where the leaves are falling and we're moving on from one season to the next. So that's what that means. We're, the leaves have fallen 
we have transitioned and healed. We've retreated, transitioned healing with the help of Mother Nature into a love that is clearly in harmony with one another. They're both looking at each other. They're both very much in harmony with one another. But it took this type of situation in order to get here, right? So it's, it's a love that blooms effortlessly, actually. It's a love that blooms effortlessly in harmony. That's what, that's what the irre, um, this, this irresistible love, look at, this is irresistible love, being in harmony, being one in nature, being in harmony, being one in nature, and being at peace at the same time. These cards interact with one another so effortlessly because we've come to a place of trusting the universe. I think everyone has been through so much heartache, so many trials and tribulations that finally we allow ourselves now to trust and release control and trust that everything's going to be okay. And that's what's happened. So when I read it, like, again, we retreated, we healed, and now we're expressing a love that is so beautiful. A love so beautiful. I'm hearing that song. I love that song. Okay, so on this holiday season, not only do we want to say counting our blessings from a standpoint of our family, our friends, and of course, our loved ones, which are family and friends, but what I mean loved ones by our, our animals and everything that is brought to us that gives us peace within. And of course, let's not forget the love we have for ourselves, right? With, with the, within all of that around this time of year, I also wanna say, let's be grateful and also be given prayers and peace to those who have actually gone through so much tragedy. We have, we have had so much. Um, Mother Nature has given us a lot to think about. Um, there's a lot of, of the natural disasters that have been taking place. This is Zeus. Say hi. Um, the natural disasters that have taken place are for us is really a time for us to to pray for those who not only we know but also to pray for those who we don't know and those people that have lost their loved ones and family and children okay and doggies um, so I just want to say that this time natural disasters happen so that there can be a congregating of people to gather around and find peace within that those tragedies, right? When things happen, that's what Mother Nature is asking us to do, is to find peace within ourselves and to give peace to those that have, have suffered, okay, and have lost. Even their material harvest, they've lost. Some people have lost their homes and I mean more importantly their lives but some people also have lost their material harvest so at that time we do want to um, give thanks and prayers and send special prayers for this day and every day um, because it is a time that we do give thanks but we don't all we don't all always want to just give thanks to to what we have in our realm we want to like let's let's expand that that um love that we have for for all the desires that we have for the love that we want let's spread the word let's spread that love to all of those who have lost and who are um 
right now, we're all blooming as flowers, right? But right now, a lot of people are still in the, in the, in the thorns, you know, and we can't bloom, we can't blossom until we go through such things. And you, Taurus, have moved on and found peace and harmony now because you have gone through the surrendering and the thorns and whatever in, enabled you to get out of the, a situation has now given you great happiness. And for that, such blessings are, are amazing to receive. Everyday blessings, actually. So um, I want to thank you all for visiting my channel continuously, liking, getting readings from me. I give great thanks to all of you, and I send my love to all of you for, for that. Um, I am grateful. Um, and I also want to mention that without all of you, I would not, you know, be here. So I thank you again. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Okay, um, I will see you soon. Have a wonderful holiday season. Um, be blessed and love and light.